How's it going YouTube? Reed here, back with another video. Today's video is going to feature my first ever nighttime factory raid. Um, quite literally ever, not just this patch, but uh, prior to this, I had never ran a nighttime factory. You can see I have no idea what I'm doing because I brought in an EOTech. The glare on these is absolutely horrible, so I'm going to take this off my gun yeah, and yeah. I'm forced to run iron sights for the remainder of the raid. Um, but just to break down, yeah, I mean, I'm sure you guys can tell from the title what goes on in this raid, but uh, from the start, I heard some suppressed shots. I knew I was up against a couple of other players, uh, but I did my best to just remain calm and play through as best I could, uh, killing scavs and getting ready to engage players. So I hope you guys enjoy the raid. I'll skip through some of the slower parts and leave it to the action. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. Now I will say very quickly that uh, my level of focus was through the roof here. Um, I was already shaking hearing those suppressed shots go off in the background. So, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of commentary, but uh, I'll do my best to add in some uh, analysis as we move forward here. So, thanks for watching. So there was a bug this raid where the lights would get shot out, but sometimes would stay lit up. And that's why you see some light sources, um, and then toggling my night vision would get rid of them, and it was kind of hard to understand. So I was doing my best to kind of mitigate that, uh, stay in this corner, farm scavs as they came in, and wait for these players to get a little closer. I really like to throw flashbangs or grenades when I'm unsure if I'm up against a PMC slash player scav in comparison to an AI scav, because oftentimes if it's an AI scav, you'll get the uh, voice line that follows after they run away from a grenade, so it gives you a good identifier what you're up against. So I really recommend bringing a lot of flashbangs into factory, not to flash the enemy, but to be able to identify who exactly you're fighting. Give 
Извини, да. So a good piece of advice here would be to, uh, whenever you're in a scenario where you got a lot of scav bodies around and you might not feel comfortable looting or have time to loot, at least tap the bodies. Tap all the bodies with F just to bring up the search window. You'll get the search XP, uh, but you don't have to necessarily sit there and search them all. So anyways, here come the players. I hope you guys enjoy. So at this point, pretty much all of the threats were taken care of, though if you were paying attention to the audio, listen to what happens after I get that fourth kill. I'm going to replay the clip here and hear if you can tell what happens. Hear the USEC moan? Hear the USEC death moan? So keeping that in mind, it's obvious that there was a PMC that got into a fight with a scav and died. Um, I remember hearing those gunshots and knowing that there was a separate fight going on, separate from mine in the bathroom, uh, but not really putting two and two together with that moaning voice line that it was a PMC. So it's very possible that these guys were in a five-man squad, uh, and he was separate. It could have been a totally different PMC uh, that was on his own. <laughs> Um, but unfortunately, I didn't get to loot him because my game awareness uh, wasn't quite there to be able to pick up on that. So it's cool to be able to watch your clips back, learn from your mistakes. Um, and in this scenario, I was shaken like a leaf. So I was worried about doing my best job looting and I wasn't really paying attention that much to my, to my surroundings. So definitely something to pick up for the future. <coughs> so in terms of loot, these guys really weren't that well kitted out, uh, but... I think it was the whole fact of just wiping their squad which really got me excited. Um, but I did my best to loot them, you know, take all of the valuable items. I really like to run the rig inside of the backpack for smaller one slot or two slot items and then throw in an extra gun depending on who's got the best build. Um, this guy in particular was the most kitted, he was also the highest level so he seemed to be kind of like the sh Sherpa of the group. Um, but like I said, I did my best to loot. Looting is definitely not my forte, but I ended up getting out with, I believe, four pilgrim backpacks. Three of these guys had pilgrims. And then in attack two, uh, I got the fourth pilgrim from a scav, and then the fourth guy in this group had uh, attack two. So. Uh, pretty good loot overall. It was a fantastic raid. Um, lots of XP and lots of experience, not only in-game experience, but also uh, just actual playing experience uh, as a gamer on Tarkov. And, you know, knowing that the most important things on Nighttime Factory is really listening, getting an idea of where people are, how many people you're up against, and staying calm because uh, despite a natural reaction to really, really, really uh, freak out in these kinds of scenarios. Um, the calmer you are, the better you perform. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video in the raid. Uh, lots more to come. I've been running a lot of super geared runs now. I'm getting to a point where money isn't so much of an issue. Uh, getting the hideout pretty much maxed out and uh, just really enjoying point 12. So thank you guys again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. As always, take it easy.